My name is Shane Equis, and I'm on a mission to break the electric motorcycle streamlined land speed record. I'm picking back up with carbon fiber body build. I'm gonna build it right here in this barn, and this is the first time I've done anything of this size, so it's gonna be a learning process. Feel free to share your comments, help me out. Um, yeah, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe. If you look at it, it's like completely flat. It's like completely flat in this area. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to film this. It's too big. Oh my god. It's like a beached whale. To start this project out with the CNC cut foam. I had it cut by a company called We Cut Foam in Sunnyvale, California. Super nice guys. They did a great job and they hooked me up on price for sure. After cleaning the barn, I think it's time to start gluing up the styrofoam. I'm going to use a Total Boat Slow Hardener to glue the styrofoam together. And basically I'm just going to slather it on a nice thin paste, lay the two on and let it sit for a day or two. I'm going to do them in thirds. And that's the way the foam was cut. And then I'll glue those thirds together and mount it all on a separate stand that I can do it on. But this is the first step kind of nervous. I've never done any of this stuff before and I don't want to mess this up because it was almost 2,000 bucks to get the foam cut. But, got to do it! Let's do it! five days and I got all three of the sections glued up so now I think I'm gonna use a sanding block to square up the sections here where there's a little bit of overlap from the CNC and after I get that squared up I'm actually gonna take a break from this and I'm gonna do some sample carbon fiber setups and let me walk you through that real quick of this carbon fiber. We used about a yard. I have 120 to spare. Um, hopefully that's enough for this project. If not, I have another 120 I can purchase, uh, but it's a little bit expensive. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm laying up five different sections, uh, alternating patterns. So I'm doing one with the strands going this way, one going 45 this way, one going this way, one going the opposite 45, and then another fifth one going the first direction. The point of this is to see how stiff it gets uh, when I increase the layers between it. So I'm going to lay this up, throw some peel ply over the top, and let it sit for a couple days, and then we'll test to see how strong and how many plies I need. If I need five, probably going to need another roll. But we'll find out after this. So hopefully it lands somewhere in three. That would be the best, um, the cheapest. But um, don't want to skimp on the strength of this, so this is a necessary step to make sure that we get the result that we're looking for. Peel ply on our testers. Oh wow! No. It's pretty thin. That's not how I thought it was gonna work out. Oh, that's 
shocked the crap out of me. Okay. So one ply is too thin. Two plies, three plies, four plies, five. It's better. It's still pretty thin though. Maybe it's gonna be light. The whole thing's gonna be like a hundred pounds. It's crazy. Looks like we need five layers. Fry, shut up! <laughs> Get up here! Get it, Fry! I feel like I have um, like something really expensive that I'm not supposed to have, and I'm probably gonna break it because I know it costs so much money, you know? That's what I feel like these foam bolts are, man. That surface finish. I know, it's good. The wax turned out good. And you can see here the different layer, like strands. So you can see the Kevlar tracers in it, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if you can. I can. And then you can see that, that they go yeah. diagonally here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go back to the opposite direction of this one. And then diagonally again. Yeah. And then this direction. Cool. So much stronger. But it still feels like nothing. Is that gonna be strong enough? Do I need like six layers? Do I need to do another test? I should overdo it, right? That means I need another roll. If I wanna do more than five, four layers, I need two rolls. If I don't need another one, then that would be really nice, but I think I'm gonna need it, because three is like paper thin. Careful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was really trying to break it. Since the first layup was, you know, kind of just a little flimsy, I want to see what the next set of things will give us. So I put down a baseline four um, every direction, 45s and 90s. And then I put another 90 for five layers. And then I have two staggered 45s and then another zero or 180. Um, this will give us five, six, seven, eight. So then we can see how thick that is. It's probably, I really hope that we don't go to up to eight because that require like way more carbon fiber. Um, but it's worth it to look at right now. So we're gonna lay this up and put some peel ply on it and go from there. So this is nice and dry. I got the peel ply off. It looks really good. Um, the, this is basically five, six, seven, eight layers. Um, it's feeling pretty rigid. Across the eight it is like fantastic. Almost all the way to the five and the six. So I think to avoid overkill, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with six layers in my brain right now. We're gonna add some strengthening ribs throughout the piece. So this will just be an aerodynamic skin. We'll rely on the mechanical mounting to keep the rigidity up. So this is where we're landing. We're landing with six layers as of now. Um, as you can see from the original one, it was just too thin all the way up to five. Five feels pretty good, but it's still a little flexible. So we'll put an extra one on there for six. That'll give us an even number so we can get our strand orientation to a correct amount. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. One thing that I did do when I went and picked up this carbon, I went and looked at a uh, local boat builder. They build racing sailboats out of composites and uh, they let me actually walk around and film some stuff in the shops. That's sick. That's what I need. 
Hopefully I can learn some of the things that I used over there to reorganize this spot. Um, it's getting pretty cramped in here. So, but yeah, we'll go from there, moving forward. All right, well, I got all three pieces assembled and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I had the tape out and I measured the space, but there's a lot less working room than I thought there'd be in here. So I think the next step is I'm gonna rearrange, I'm gonna take some tools out, and I'm gonna get a nice long working surface and get this in a place where it's a lot easier to work around. Um, another major issue I'm noticing is that I have to build a stand that's very minimal in its contact point so I can work around the whole piece with carbon. And that's gonna entail, I think, some threaded rods that'll run up through each section, two per section. And when we lay the carbon, we can actually uh, work around that or repair that after we're done. So I'm still kind of working out the process of that. We're gonna stop this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe. It's gonna help out the channel so much, help this project grow. We're full speed ahead on this. So hopefully next season we'll have this thing out on the salt, pushing it to the limits. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys stay tuned. Have a good one.